The following problem is a system of equations problem that we're asked to solve using elimination. To do this, we have to manipulate the equations such that the variable, uh, one of the two variables, has the same coefficient. Um, a way to do this is, for instance, to look at the x variables and ask what is the least common multiple of those, or the least common denominator if you think about fractions. Well, between 3 and 2, that would be 6. So we need to multiply the 3 times 2, and we need to multiply the 2 by 3. However, we also need them to be opposites, so when we multiply the top by 2, we need to multiply the bottom by a negative 3, such that we get a negative 6x. Now, when you multiply, you actually have to multiply the entire equation. So we're going to multiply 2 times 3 to get 6x, and then 2 times negative 5 to get negative 10y, or to get positive 10y, and then we're going to have 2 times 4 to get 8. And then also a negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6x, and then we're going to have a negative 3 times a negative 3y, and we're going to get a positive 9y, so a sign change there, and then a negative 3 times 9 is a negative 27. Now we're going to add these two equations together, like we did before in elimination, and 6x minus 6x is 0x, uh, which actually just goes away, which we'll see in a second. 10y plus 9y is 19y, because the signs are the same, so you add them. 8 plus negative 27, signs are different, so you actually subtract, and that's going to be a negative 19, because 27 is bigger, and such that it's going to carry the negative. So essentially what we have left is 19y equals a negative 19. So to solve that, you just divide both sides by 19. Uh, so you divide both sides of these, this equation by 19, and you're left with y equals negative 1. Okay, so now, similar to what we've done, the process is similar to what we've done before. You're just going to go back to the original equations and substitute in negative 1 for y. It uh, doesn't matter which equation you use. Um, in this one, I'll just go ahead and use a second one. So I'm going to do 2x minus 3 times negative 1, because I'm putting negative 1 instead of y. And then I just solve this like a normal uh, single variable equation. Negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3, because you had negative times a negative. Then you're just going to subtract both sides by negative 3, or by 3. You end up with 2x equals 6. Divide both sides by 2, x equals 3. So that means you found your solution. Your solution is x equal 3, so you're going to do a ordered pair. The first term is 3, and the second is negative 1. So that's your solution. Now remember, you can always go back and check. So to check, we just plug it in, uh, our solution into both equations. So we're going to have 3 times 3 plus 5 times negative 1. We want to see if that equals 4. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus negative 5. Yeah, 9 plus negative 5 does equal 4. That's a true statement. So we found a solution to that problem. Now we've got to see, is it also a solution to the other equation? If it is, then we know it's our answer. So 2 times uh, 3 plus, or minus 3 times negative 1. So does that equal 9? Well, yeah, because 2 times 3 is 6, and negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3, and 6 plus 3 does equal 9. So that is a true statement, so your solution